Well, there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to chiropractic medicine. With me now to try and dispel some of those myths is Dr. Sean McCaffrey with McCaffrey Family Health Center. So good to see you again. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. good. Hey, there seems to be a stigma associated with the chiropractic profession and even some people who doubt the benefits. What sure. do you think of that? You know, there is. There absolutely is. And a big problem with the profession, uh, it's not what it once was. If you go back 100 years or so, the profession was very broad. They dealt with just about anything affecting the human body. And the, and the goal of chiropractic is to put energy into a system. Uh, it's like dropping a pebble in a pond. You want to see the ripple. So when the body is, is it's, it's, it's energetic anyway. So when you block that energy by falling down, tripping, sleeping, finding something like that, then the body struggles. It just doesn't want to get up. We saw the pain segment earlier where it was struggling. That's why. That's why you see that. So if you can do something to put energy in, massage, chiropractic, adjusting, anything like that, touching, the body does really, really well. Hmm, okay. Well, I understand there's been a push in the past several years from traditional medicine to natural healing arts. Tell us about some of the various styles of natural healing arts that you practice. You know, in our practice, we do, obviously, chiropractic is part of it. It's a big chunk of what we do. We do a lot of different acupuncture styles. We do herbology, Chinese herbology. Uh, there's something called an MMR, which is a muscle memory reintegration therapy. So a lot of touch-based therapies, a lot of nutrition, a lot of restoring normal function. And that's really the goal of it. You're trying to get the body to run the way it once did. And we just accept sometimes that, oh, we're getting older, and that's why this doesn't work yeah. so well. That's not the case. Yeah. The body's telling you, hey, I'm having trouble here. You need to pay attention to me. And if you can do the right things, restore normal, I get my life back. Yeah, we just, you know, what I call it, like an old car. You know, you just drive it long enough, and it just starts to break down. Uh, why would someone choose chiropractic me medicine? Uh, does it help? with just musculoskeletal issues or more? No, it doesn't. And what's really neat about when you look at chiropractic care and how that field is, de is derived and how it evolved, you can look at someone and just stand there. Like if you sit here and look at me now, I can watch little features about you. I'm looking for the hands turn in. Does the shoulder drop? Do you have little tells where the body's trying to say, look, I got a problem here. So when you have struggles, it, it's okay to medicate. It's okay to do different therapies. It's okay for surgery if you need it. The key to an alternative field or a natural field is to say, can we restore normal? Can we help the body function the way it used to and do it without such aggressive, dominating therapies? Like having a child. When you tell a child to do something, they kind of rebel a little bit. But if you're kind of given choices that you want them to do, then it's much, much better. So that's kind of how it works. Okay, so it's a choice. All right. So I understand you believe that many doctors today do not observe and help pain enough when making a diagnosis. What does that mean? You know, because of technology and all the great things that we've done, from x-rays to CAT scans to MRIs to anything else you can think of that nature, We've lost a little bit of our diagnostic ability. Doctors 50 years ago, 100 years ago, they didn't have those tools. So they had to look at you and they had to say, gosh, your shoulder's dropped. Does that mean something? Or that arm is turned in. Does that mean something? And it did. There were little tells. And if we could learn to go back a little bit to that understanding of anatomy and physiology and looking at the body and looking and saying, it will lead you where you need to go. The other tests are great. The problem is you don't need those every time, and they're expensive. You know, a $1,500 MRI is a great test when it's absolutely necessary. But if you can find that same problem in a short 10-minute office call, much better. Why not? We'll save that money. Absolutely. Dr. Sean McCaffrey, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Well, up next, Pure Skin will join us in studio. Today we are talking about dry and dehydrated.